So much to talk about. So much to talk about. My wife won this thing. Tell them. Ah, Tell okay. them. So, we have kind of been eating healthy, right? And on like a healthier choice kick. Not kick. Big time. Yeah. It's not a kick. No, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I woke up this morning and I was like on my Instagram and I'm like flipping through like and then all of a sudden I see my picture and I'm like, wait a second, I'm not on my other, my fitness account, I'm on my account. And then I was like, oh my gosh, Fit Girls chose me as a winner. And so let me try to find it right here for ya. That's a one month difference. So then... They said, cheer on Shelly, and then they gave my little thing, and then they said the next $100 progress prize winner from the Fit Girls Guide challenge goes to me. Woo woo, that's her. Ha. All right, it's so official. It's so official. We're going. We're out of here. So we're gonna go pick him up in Barstow. We're supposed to be there at his mom's leaving at 5:30, right? Yeah. So she won't be there till about 6:30, 7:30. Let's just say 7:30, because she's coming from Los Angeles, and half of Los Angeles is coming to Vegas to get drunk and wasted. So she's gonna take a little bit longer. She'll be there probably about 7:30. We're leaving now. It takes us about three hours. Right now it's 2.20. And so if we have a chance, we're gonna stop by the ghost town over there. Calico ghost town. Why it's blurry, I think. Huh. Look at the screen. Can you see it? Yeah. Handprints. So we made it here it to Barstow. Alive with no fights. Because you drove. <laughs> yeah, it's because I drove. Yo, check it out, yo. Yo, yo. Check it out, yo. Yo. <laughs> we're in Barstow. My wife's hungry. She wants to hurry. She wants me to shut up and stop talking to the camera. But we were. <laughs> he knows me so well. <laughs> so <laughs> we were at the first. We were at the. Always go to the other Taco Bell. Del but Taco. after Del Taco. But we met the owner, and the owner said this was actually his first, mm -hmm. first one he he's ever built. So he bought this one back in, like. The 60s. Yeah, probably the 60s. And he's angry because he's hungry, but his mama's hungry, so his mama must eat first. <laughs> for the baby to be happy. Because if mama's not happy, the baby's not happy, and dad's not happy. And it's a whole chain reaction we don't want to get into. <clears throat> I just got a call from James right now. He said that he is Burley dropping off his brother, and they haven't left Los Angeles yet. So we got to wait, and we'll see what happens. Hello. I just burnt my tongue off. <laughs> With this scolding, hot chocolate. Half of her tongue is still in there. <laughs> is it true? <laughs> oh, there he is. What's up, handsome boy? Say hi, Dad. You want a road trip with Mom and Dad? To pick up your brother? Amazing donuts, by the way. You should show him the donuts. tradition we always get magnets everywhere we go and we always come to Barstow all the time this is our second like home <laughs> kind of not but we always come here we stop here every time we pass through we just don't have any magnets that say Barstow so we're doing the pressed penny souvenir thing do it do it
We'll find out soon. Ah. Is it? We chose this one. Welcome to Barso with the train. Because the train's historic though. Yeah, guess who's here? <laughs> you are! There he is. My son James. All right, so we're out of here. We're going to get on the road. It's 8.34 right now. We want to make it back where there's enough time for us to kind of hang out and do some stuff and like the unpack them. We're probably going to be home by 11 o'clock. We'll hit the road. I love this. He keeps looking at his brother. <laughs> he keeps staring at the wall. Stay right there. He just keeps looking at him. <laughs> He's chipping out like, look at this, my brother. You deserve And you did rise from the sky The next day. 6.45, my dad hasn't waking up, Shelly's woken up, the baby's eating right now, and I think we'll have a fun day when my dad wakes up. Probably gonna jump on him at 7.30, and we'll see how that goes. I'm about to jump on my dad, and he's sleeping right now, and so I think it's gonna be pretty funny, and I can't wait to see his reaction. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, gosh. So, I'm learning new things every day. Yeah. Like today, yesterday, we learned that when you're not using the base, you're only supposed to use one lap belt. Like, this isn't supposed to go this way. Which is weird because my whole life, anytime I've ever used a car seat carrier, I've always doubled up. But on the seat, it says to leave it open. Lap shoulder seat base without base. That doesn't make sense. But anyways, so hopefully that's secure. I just feel weird. But here we go. Are you ready, baby Elias? He's ready. <laughs> so, this morning was a little crazy. Um, Elias woke up at five o'clock to feed, and so I went in and fed him and thought everything was gonna be good. He went right back into his crib like normal. I went back in the room, tried to, like, was on the verge of falling asleep, and then he was wide awake and so I went back in and woke got him out of his crib and he was wide awake and happy and wanting to play and that lasted for he fell asleep at like seven but this kid right here had woke up at 6 30 so he was up at 6 30 Probably did it. Did Elias wake you up? Because he started. Yeah, I heard crying, and I was just like, oh. Yeah, because at first Elias was really happy, and then he like started getting grumpy and crying. So then Elias fell asleep at 7:30, but then LJ was up at 6:30. So then I had to stay awake, even though Elias was asleep. But then finally at 7:30, I went to sleep, and I told. LJ he could come wake James up at 7 45 so
So then James had the kids from 7.45 until like 11, So like 11. Anyways, now I'm leaving with LJ and the baby and we are in our friend's car, super nice. Makes us want a new car. They went out of town and we t drove them to the airport so they're letting us use their car for a little while. So where are we going, LJ? We're gonna go to Kohl's to return something, and then we're gonna go to Target to get a present for Will's um, daughter. Okay, it's Abigail. If it's Abigail's ninth birthday, we are gonna surprise her with silly string. We have her cake over there. They're about to walk in. Where's my phone at? Over there. Um, yeah, two. Yeah, do you have two? Yeah. Ready for this? Shall we? Yeah. Do you have one? Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Circus Adventure Dome, yeah. and uh, my wife's feeding the baby. We just got here. I think we're on the back side though, right? Yeah. 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 That's where it is. Right there. It says The craziness in the, the kids. Oh, what you guys are ready to get down on? What you guys are ready to get down on? Huh? I want to go on this. Kelly, 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 look at this. Hey, James, you ready? For that one. What? Are we ready? He said he's ready. I'm ready. He's ready for this one. No. What? But anyway, I found my son. I found my son and my wife. This place gives me a headache. Well, I think it's that and we're we're running off of like five hours of sleep. This James. How was it? How was it? Was it cool? I want to do it again. Go ahead, go. Yeah! yeah. Woo Kelly! James! James! Over here! This is someone.